everyone. Uh, we will be talking about properties of equality. So, paiba po tayo ngayon. So, ano ba yung properties of equality? Ito po yung mga uh, equalities or properties of equalities na makakatulong in um, computations. So, um, this time, I will just be talking about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division properties. So, ito kasi usually ang magagamit natin in some computations. Uh, later on, makikita po nyo ito in uh, other videos sa mga um, future lessons natin in grade 6. Right? So, malaking tulong po ito. Right. So, first is addition property of equality. If A is equal to B, then A plus C is equal to B plus C. Ibig lang po sabihin nito that um, if you add um, the same number to both sides of the equation, the equality will, will, will be the same, will stay the same. So, ibig sabihin kung may dinagdag ka sa kaliwa, at ganun din ang dinagdag mo sa kanan ng equation, wala pong magbabago, equal pa rin po yan. Right? So, paano natin ipakita? Right? In this equation, uh, sabi dito, 25 minus 10 is equal to 15. Tama naman, di ba? So, um, ang gagawin natin is, tanggalin natin yung kasama ng 25. So, um, let's just let 25 be on the left side. Okay? Then, ipakita natin sa kabila na equal pa rin siya doon. Okay? Tingnan natin na um, mas maintindihan kasi ito sa, ne sa next. Pero, ipakita ko lang kung paano uh, ginawa. Okay? So, para mawala yung 10, okay? E di dagdag tayo ng 10. So, minus 10 at plus 10 or plus 10 minus 10, 0 na yan. So, since nagdagdag tayo ng 10 sa kaliwa, e di magdagdag tayo din sa kanan. So, 15 plus 10. yon So, cancel na natin yung 10. Okay? Dahil minus 10 at plus 10, 0 lang yan ha. So, 15 plus 10 is 25, di ba? So, 25 is just equal to 25. So, saan ba ito uh, makakatulong? Dito po. So, for example natin, with one unknown. So, ibig sabihin, merong hindi alam. Merong nawawalang number. So, we have their x minus 5 equals 21. So, dapat ipakita natin na x is equal to a certain number. So, dapat mawala yung mga kasama ng x sa kaliwa. Okay? So, para mawala yung minus 5, eh, didagdagan natin ng 5. Okay? And then, 21 plus 5 then. So, kung anong ginawa sa kaliwa, gagawin din sa kanan. So, since nag plus 5 tayo sa kaliwa, plus 5 din tayo sa kanan. And minus 5 at saka plus 5, cancel na yan. 0 na yan eh. So, x therefore is equal to 26. Okay? Makikita mo naman eh. Kung uh, i-substitute mo yung 26 dun sa x, that would be 26 minus 5 and that is actually equal to 21. Right? Example 2, we have m minus 19 equals 10. So, again, kuhanin ang katabi or kasama ng m. So, we have their m minus 19, ay di plus 19 tayo. Kasi baligtaran lang yan eh, para magiging 0. So, 10 plus 19 din. So, cancel na yung 19. Kasi minus 10 at plus 19, cancel na yan ha. And then, m therefore is equal to 29. Alright? Example 3, we have y minus 6 equals 44. And then, para, para mawala yung minus 6, eh di plus 6 tayo. 44 plus 6, and then cancel. We have now y equals 50. Now, the next one is subtraction property of equality. Eh di kabaligtaran lang dun sa addition. So, paano gawin? Okay, ganito lang. Right, so 18 plus 12 equals 30. So again, iwan natin yung 18 ha. So para mawala yung 12, edi plus 12 minus 12 tayo, di ba? Plus 12 minus 12. So 18 plus 12 minus 12 equals 30 minus 12. So para magiging 0 yan, dapat baligtaran lang. Plus 12 minus 12, di ba? So cancel na natin yan, okay? So 18 na lang matira sa left. And then, 18 na rin sa kanan. So, 18 is equal to 18. So, apply natin. Using 
this one. So, example 1. D plus 11 equals 15. So, again, tatanggalin natin yung 11. So, baliktaran ang sabi ko, ba? So, plus 11, edi minus 11 para maging 0 yan. So, D plus 11 minus 11 is equal to 15 minus 11. So, tandaan ulit lagi ha, kung anong ginawa sa kaliwa, gagawin sa kanan. Ganun lang. Okay? And then, imagine ang timbangan. So, cancel na ito. So, D now is equal to 4. Right? Example 2. N plus 9 equals 10. So, we have N plus 9 minus 9 equals 10 minus 9. So, cancel natin yung 9. And therefore, it's just equal to 1. And tama naman, di ba? Alright. So, next Alright, C plus 7 equals 15. Okay, so, dahil plus 7 ito, ito minus 7. Baligtaran lang para maging 0, ba? So, C plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 15 minus 7. So, cancel na itong dalawa. Right? So, matitira na lang is C and that is equal to 8. Now, the third one is multiplication property of equality. If A is equal to B, then A times C. So, pagka magkatabi ang dalawang letter, multiplication yan. So, A times C or AC is equal to BC. So, gamit yung numbers again. Okay, ganito lang yan. Okay. So, ang aim natin dito is mawala ang 7. So, iiwan ang 56 Para mawala ang 7, edi itatay. Kasi denominator yung 7, ba? So, tatanggalin lang natin yung denominator para magiging simple. Wala ka ng fraction. So, para mangyari yan, times mo siya with 7. Okay? So, 7 dito is the same as 7 over 1. So, yung 7 dito is a numerator. I-cancel natin with a denominator. So, sabi ko noon, if you're doing cancellation, ba? Dapat yung isa ay nasa taas ang partner niya ay nasa baba. So, pwede na natin i-cancel yan. So, since ginawa natin yan sa kaliwa, dapat mag time 7 din tayo sa kanan. And take note ha, kung lahat numbers ang pinakita dito at gusto mo siyang i-multiply by 7, lagay mo siya sa parenteses. Kasi, pwede lang yung magkatabi when it comes to letters or numbers and letters. So, kung number and letter, pwede mo i-dress yung sulat. Pero, Kung parehong numbers, lagyan mo siya ng parenthesis uh, to denote multiplication. Right? So, cancel na natin yung 7. Okay? Kasi 7 over 7 is just 1, ha? And then, ang matira is 56. And then, 8 times 7 is just 56. Pareho lang. Okay? So, apply natin. Let's see. Example 1. X over 4 is equal to 8. So, makikita nyo na ngayon kung paano siya magagamit, ba? So, may iiwan lang dapat ang x. So, tatanggalin natin yung 4 para mawala yung 4. Ita times mo siya with 4. And then, yung kanan, ita times mo rin siya with 4. So, minus, uh, cancel na itong dalawa. Right? So, ang may iiwan ngayon is x and that is equal to 8 times 4 and that is 32. So, x equals 32. Check na natin. Kung ipalit mo yung 32 dito sa x, that is just the same as 32 divided by 4 or 32 over 4. So, 32 divided by 4 is actually 8. Okay? So, tama yung sagot natin. Example 2. Y over 5 is equal to 2. Again, tatanggalin natin yung 5 para mawala yung 5. Ta times natin. So, bakit kaya ita times natin? Um, sinabi ko noon, baligtaran lang, di ba? Kabaligtaran ng addition is uh, addition is subtraction. Kabaligtaran ng subtraction is addition. So, since multiplicate, uh, division ito, kasi a fraction denotes division. So, kabaligtaran ang ginawa natin. Ginawa natin ang multiplication para pwede ka nang mag-cancel. Right? So, that is just two times 5 then So, cancel natin yung 5. So, matitira ngayon is y and that is equal to 10. 
Ayan, recheck na 10. 10 divided by 5, that is 2. Tama. Example 3, we have x over 10 is equal to 10. So, para mawala yung 10, times 10 na 10, and then times 10 din si kan sa kanan. Okay? So, cancel na itong dalawa. Diba? So, we now have x is equal to 100. Right? Now, the last one is division property of equality. If A is equal to B, then A divided by C is just equal to B divided by C. So, the same number i-divide mo sa kaliwa at divide mo rin sa kanan, walang magbabago sa equality. Tama pa rin. Okay? So, this one um, is a, a good example. So, again, nakaparenthesis lang. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung 5 ita times mo with 6. So, tanggalin natin yung 6. Okay? Para 5 na lang iwan natin dyan. Okay? So, divide natin ang um, 5 times 6 with 6. And then, 30 divided by 6. O, di cancel na itong dalawa. ba? Cancel. So, may iwan ang 5. And then, 30 divided by 6 is just 5. So, 5 is equal to 5. So, then, example 1. 4x is equal to 24. So, again, tatanggalin natin yung kasama ng x. Para mawala yan, edi i-divide mo with 4. Ayan. So, 24 divided by 4 then So, cancel na itong 4. Ayan. So, x na lang ang maiiwan. And then, 24 divided by 4 is just 6. Ayan. Recheck. 6 palit natin sa x. So, 4 times 6 is just 24. Tama lang, di ba? Example 2. We have 7x is equal to 14. And then, divide natin by 7. Divide natin by 7. Madali lang makita kung ano i-divide mo kasi yung katabi lang naman ang i-divide mo eh. Para mawala na siya. Magiging 1 na siya. 7 over 7 is just 1. Okay, so, seven div uh, 14 divided by 7 is just 2. Diba? So, x therefore is just equal to 2. Yan. Example 3. 55x is equal to 55. Okay? So, para mawala yung 55, divide natin with 55. And then, 55 divided by 55. So, cancel. Okay, so, x therefore is equal to just 1. Kasi 55 over 55 is just 1. So, x equals 1. Ayan, kung ipalit mo yan dito, 55 times 1 is just 55. Diba? 